Hi there everyone, I'm Chris. Uh, got another of uh, my series of unboxing videos to do today. Just a small uh, delivery, as you can see. Um, this is from UK Tactical, which is a, one of a uh, favourite retailer mine, actually, when it comes to sort of gear and equipment. Um, recently uh, went through and bought myself pretty much a whole new loadout. Um, got one order coming from America, one from Hong Kong, and obviously this is the one from the UK. Um, <laughs> All coming together from all over the world. Um, ordered this on. Let me see now. It went well it Thursday morning, technically, about 1 a.m. And then I actually clicked the complete checkout button. Uh, they dispatched it Thursday during the day and Friday lunchtime. It was uh, with me on base. Um, so, yeah, pretty happy with that. First thing, I'll um, pack it. These are. The uh, open factory pilot box. Um, I've actually already got a pair of these in black, um, but using a bit more multi cam equipment nowadays, and the, the tan version just goes better with them. So, why not? Ooh. As you can see, comes in just a plastic bag, you've got your silica gel in there, which is always nice to see and then you're opening up a product packaging because you know it's not going to, I mean, potentially if it's sat in a warehouse for a while it could be sort of getting a bit um, damp in sort of, you know, not, not mouldy necessarily but it's not going to do much good sitting there if there's any moisture got inside the packaging. Um, got a little sort of Care instructions, all that stuff, and the cardboard backing here. Just sort of the treasury tag type things holding them on. Try to take one off so we can go through a few of the features. Fortunately, I've got a little, little, little bit of knife with me, and I've got a little plastic thing going through. So I'm not going to take them off just now. Oh well. Um, yeah, we can run. Over here, I can go through a few, a few of the basic features of the gloves. Um, obviously, they're a pretty popular bit of kit. Uh, you see them all over the place, loads of guys wear them. Been around for a while now. In terms of wrist closure, you've got a Velcro there, just a small Velcro thing, but it, despite the small surface area, it is quite strong, I have to say, because I've been using my uh, black versions of these for a while. They are quite tough. Um, you've got a sort of soft neoprene type material around the wrist area which is nice and comfortable followed up by a sort of a standard nylon cotton fabric then the main portion here in the centre of the glove is sort of whether it's real leather I don't actually know quite possibly is um, nice tan colour you can see the famous carbon reinforced uh, knuckle portions on there um, protect you knuckle against any sort of impacts or just for hitting people if you're, if you're uh, in that particular situation. Um, the actual uh, finger part of the gloves, again you've got the leather continues up to there and you've got more of the neoprene and cotton type material. A similar thing going on with the thumb. On the inside it's again a sort of leather type material it, it's smooth to the touch, but it will give you quite a good grip on uh, your weapon system or whatever you happen to be holding while wearing the gloves. On your, your main two fingers here, obviously the primary concern is going to be your trigger finger. I mean, this is the left hand glove, but you might be a left handed shoot. Um, you've got a sort of suede type material right up on the tip, and it's got these tiny little dots on them. Unfortunately, they tend to fall off, but <laughs> while they're still on there, they do give you a good um, positive grip on whatever you are trying to... Obviously, trigger is going to be the main thing, but whatever else you might be trying to move with the glove. They're a good solid construction. Like I said, I've been using my black versions for a while, and apart from those little dots falling off, they are well made. They will, you will get a, a good life out of them. Um, very comfortable to use. Not warm, I wouldn't recommend them for the winter, they won't keep your hands warm at all. I mean, for starters, obviously, you've got these, these ventilation holes 
going across your fingers. They are they are a hot weather um, glove. You know, summer months and arid environments, hot hot uh, climate systems. That's what these are for. Not for the winter. Don't go trying to keep your hands warm if you're uh, um, shooting or skirmishing during the winter time using these gloves. They won't do a very good job at all. Um, if anything, they can sometimes, I found, uh, they, they almost make my hands colder because they sort of, they circulate the cold air through. Um, but yeah, in the warmer months, really good bit of kit. Other thing ordered from UK Tactical is a molly pouch. Never have enough of these. This is, as with most of the pouches that UK TAC stock produced um, by Warrior Assault Systems. Uh, as you can see, multi cam, proper uh, cry precision, 1000 denier cordura, webbing on the outside. Basic features of it uh, this is um, the proper name is the small general purpose slash medic pouch. I think not 100%, but that, it's roughly that. Um, size wise, obviously, three columns wide, and then we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven rows high. Um, if you're mounting this to a molly chest ring or vest or whatever, which is a good size, I tend to find I can put my wallet, my phone in there and then put like a shemag in front of them to keep them safe so I can keep those uh, important valuables with me on the field on oh, my car key as well so when uh, when you're out in a game stick that on your gear and keep all your valuables right there on you nice and protected great pouch for that although obviously if you want to put um, whatever you like in here people go um, food uh, water supplies toolkit um, spare gloves, BBs, uh, a, a gas can, maybe a small one, CO2 bulbs, you could put spare magazines in here, medical supplies would be another good one, absolutely all sorts can go in a pouch like this. Attachment wise, like I mentioned, uh, Molly, standard webbing straps here, a double thickness, as with all the Warrior stuff, the stitching is really strong, good quality, the press studs are really tough. They're not going to be coming off on you by accident when you're out in the game. Um, obviously in the back here, the webbing is in sort of coyote brown type colour. Just do the old threading the straps in and out to attach. Um, overall quality, as per usual, I've got a lot of warrior pouches now. And I've never, ever, I mean, once found a loose thread or anything sticking out or falling off. Anything like that. They really are brilliantly made. And obviously all the materials are top notch, all the stitching they've used. I mean, for example, if you look on the uh, this these stitching areas down here, you can see it's been double trip. I don't know how many times it's been stitched, but then they've even done all that and then they've gone zigzag across it on every point again. Same down the side edge to make it absolutely 100% secure. That's not going anywhere. Um, Webbing on the front, just to, uh, I mean, you can clip on a tool, put some light sticks in there, whatever you want to do. On the side, again, there's various, um, you can put another pouch on top or on the side here. I, uh, at one point I used to run a certain rig, I had pistol mag pouches on the side there, that worked quite well. The zips are, what brand they are, I'm not sure, probably YKK. They're very they're tough, chunky, they uh, Nice, satisfying, solid noise. They're not the sort of that loose kind where they're just going to come uh, unzipping themselves when you're running around. So, overall, um, oh, and of course, you've got your little metal drainage grommet there, which is an important feature. You want to be looking for that in any pouches you buy. It's a good sign of um, a well made pouch, I tend to find. Inside features, all on the back, you've got it's tough sort of a, about two inch elastic material there, about an inch and a half wide maybe. You can tuck, I, I tend to do on field dressing and stuff like that. Can, that'll keep that held nice and uh, secure in there. If you if it's not full and you don't want to start bouncing around when you run around, those are very handy for that. Um, it's stitched halfway down, 
so you've got two loops on each side. The tourniquet would be an ideal example, so you can thread through that. And then on the front side here, there's a small Velcro tab, hole enclosed, and an extra interior pocket. My car keys always go inside of there, ideal for that. And uh, yeah, yet again, another purchase from UK Tactical Warrior Soul Systems kit, top of the line stuff, really highly recommended. Yeah, thank you for watching guys, um, more of these sort of videos to come, uh, so uh, make sure to subscribe if you want some more, and uh, see you next time.